What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because I am going to be showing you my updated, very simple and easy everyday makeup routine. So this past year my life has changed a lot and definitely slowed down as I'm sure a lot of your lives have as well with everything kind of going on. I spend a lot more time at home now than I ever used to and with that my makeup routine has definitely changed. I still definitely do my glam looks. You guys know I love them. They will always have a place in my heart but I definitely do a lot more just easy everyday kind of makeup looks now because I don't have as many places to really be going. You know what I mean? So it's been a while since I did an updated one of these and I wanted to share it with you guys because I have definitely found like doing my makeup and like getting myself together for the day, even if I'm not going to even be leaving my house for anything because I do work at home, it definitely just puts me in a better mood and a better headspace. And so I do love to do this, but I don't spend a ton of time. Normally this look takes me about 10 minutes, obviously because I'm going to be talking through the look with you guys today through the tutorial. The video is probably going to be longer than 10 minutes, but on a regular day, it takes me about 10 minutes to do this super quick and easy, but makes me look put together, you know, like I spent some time getting ready. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these easy everyday looks. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, first things first, we need to prep this skin. So my absolute favorite is the e.l.f. Coreless Putty Primer and also we're just not going to look at my nails, okay? I know they look janky. I literally like wasn't even going to film this today because I was like, my nails look so bad. Let me wait until I can do my nails and then I was like, you know what? We've all been there. We've all had janky nails. I'm not gonna let it stop me from filming, so we're just not gonna talk about it, okay? So I'm just having this in the center part of my face where I have texture just to smooth it out a little bit before we go in with our foundation, or shall I say CC cream, because we're gonna be using a CC cream on our skin today. So just using this to prep it up. I really, really love this, and it's so affordable. It's incredible. Alrighty, so I kind of already spoiled this price. I told you we're using a CC cream. You guys probably guessed which one already. It is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I have been loving Loving this perfect for every day. I have two shades of it right here. I'm gonna try and determine which one. This one's probably a better match for me. This is light to 10 neutral. So I'm gonna go in with this, it has a little pump top, and I love this so much. It gives a really nice coverage, it makes the skin feel amazing, super hydrating and glowy, and I'm obsessed. I'm gonna use a brush to tap it out. This is the Royal and Lay Nickel Omnia. BOM 140 brush. So I'm gonna use this to tap the product out so it can keep its coverage and then we'll blend with a beauty sponge after. But this is how I like to apply this product so I can still keep that nice coverage and not just like blend it away. And it just sits really, really nicely on top of the skin, doesn't get all caked up. I actually prepped my skin before this with my Vanity Planet X4. You guys know I love that. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. Big shout out to Vanity Planet for partnering with me on this little section of today's video, but it's an incredible product. It's an at-home microderm device. This is what it looks like. I'll put a little video on the screen of me using it, but it reduces the appearance of fine lines, pores, hyperpigmentation, and it has a diamond encrusted tip on it, which is like the same kind they'd have at like a spa. So it's good for all skin types, including sensitive skin like I have. And my skin is also very dry, so it helps exfoliate off all that dead skin and all the gunk that's inside of my skin, which is what I really need to help my skin be fresh and not make my products look, you know, like super caked on my face. So I just put it in auto mode and it tells you exactly what to do and you move it around to the different areas of your face. It'll guide you completely through it. You do want to make sure you use it on clean skin though. I use it this morning, so it's quite a few hours ago. So I'll just wash my face and then I'll use it. You can also do it at night and I will normally do it about once a week. And it comes with three different heads too. One of them can actually be used on your body, which is pretty cool. So you could do it all over your body if you'd like. So lots of different options. It's definitely like a nice at home spa luxury experience. I definitely see a difference when I use it consistently. I will have a link to the Vanity Planet X4 right down below in the description box. Use that link and code Kelly Wand and it'll get you 66% off. So click the link down below. Check it out before it sells out. Normally they do sell out pretty fast, but but yeah, I love mine and I definitely notice a difference in my skin when using it. All right, so now that we have that all blended out, I'm gonna be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I have shade Light Neutral and I'm gonna use this as my concealer. So I've been doing my concealer a little different, which some of y'all get mad that I use a lot of concealer, but I have been doing it a little different like on the more daily kind of basis. I kind of do it right here and then I'll do it out here. And it blends out really nicely and gives a lifted look to the eyes. I love my Tarte Shape Tape. It's amazing. The new Wet n Wild concealer is really nice as well as the e.l.f. Um, Camo Concealer. Whenever I use a more expensive product, I do always like to give you guys like an affordable option. So those are great affordable options as well if you don't have the Shape Tape. But Shape Tape is always my baby. You guys know that. So 
just blending this right on out. And you guys can use code Kelly for 15% off of Shape Tape if you wanna try it. So just blending out that concealer. Okay, now to set underneath my eyes, I have been loving this little Becca Secret Brightening Powder. So you guys actually brought this to my attention. I'm gonna just put some in the cap here. You guys brought this powder to my attention because I tested this in the like your most favorite products video, I think, where I asked you guys to send in what your favorite products were and a lot of you guys said this and I used it in that video and I could really see on camera like the difference it made on my under eyes and how they look. So I've been using it a lot since that video. So basically what I do is I just use my beauty sponge and I press some of it underneath my eyes. And you guys will see it's like a stark white and I kind of like bake with it. So I just leave it underneath my eyes, don't completely like blend it in and let it kind of set that under eye concealer while I go in and do the rest of my makeup. And we'll go back and dust away the excess after. But I have dry skin and this powder works okay for me to bake with. It doesn't like completely dry me out like crazy. So I like it. So I look a little crazy, but we're gonna leave it like that but trust the process, y'all. It really makes for a flawless under eye. To set all over my face, I'm gonna jump in with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I talked about this in my 2020 favorites. I really like this. A great drugstore option is the Maybelline Fit Me. I do prefer the Hourglass one though because I feel like if I have to go out and wearing a mask and stuff, this does the best job of helping my makeup last underneath a mask and like throughout the day. Like it really sets the makeup so that it's not gonna move. So I do really like this and think it's worth the money. But like I said, the Maybelline Fit Me, I have it right here actually is another great drugstore option if you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable. But I just go in with a light dusting of that. You don't really need too much of it and it sets that in place. Moving on to our brows, I'm gonna jump in and do them. I'm gonna use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I'm using shade four in this because I've kind of been doing like a bit of a deeper brow and liking it, but sometimes it looks a little harsh. So you guys let me know in the comments what y'all think when I'm done. But I kind of like the way the deeper brow frames my face. The L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer or the CoverGirl Micro Brow Pencil are also really great drugstore eyebrow pencil options. I just don't have a shade that's this deeper shade in one of those, which is why I'm using the Benefit one today. And then just kind of flick upwards at the front of my brow. See? Super quick and easy. Gonna just go in and quickly do my other brow. All right, brows are done. We're gonna keep letting that under eye powder set. I'm really not gonna take that off to like the very end. I am gonna go in and bronze the skin though real quick. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. You guys know. I love this. I'm gonna use this to bronze up my face. Just add a pretty little bronzy glow. I've been putting it on my nose too, which actually makes you look like you're like actually sun-kissed, you know? Because obviously the sun wouldn't just hit your cheeks. <laughs> so I've been liking doing that. I see a lot of people doing it on TikTok and I'll normally go back over it with the brush I use for all over powder just to diffuse everything real quick and just make sure that everything blends. I'm gonna use Benefit's Hula just to contour out my cheekbones. Any matte um, bronzer will work for this. And then what I do is I don't put any additional product, but I'll go in with the beauty sponge that I use to set my under eyes. And I'll just kind of go like this underneath and see how it cleans up the contour. Like I don't have to use any additional product, just whatever's left on it. And I do that down there. Then I go in with a small little brush like this. This is the Morphe M520. And I go in with my bronzer and I'll just run this on either other side of my nose just to contour that out make it look nice and straight. Then I'll just grab a fluffy eyeshadow brush and that same bronzer. So again, I'm using Benefits Hula, but whatever matte bronzer you're using on the rest of your face is completely fine. And I'll just run that in my crease because just as we're contouring out our face and our nose, I like to contour out my eyes a little bit. You know, you don't have to go in with this full eyeshadow look to get a pretty kind of contoured eye look. So I just bring this in my crease to add some depth and definition and we're good to go on that. So normally it's at this point where I'll wipe away the under eye powder. So I'm just going in with a clean brush and wiping it away. Any of the excess powder, our under eyes should be nice and set. Then I'm gonna jump in with blush. I'm gonna use the color Cover Girl. I was gonna say Color Girl. <laughs> Combining Color Pop and Cover Girl. Cover Girl. True Blend So Flush High Pigment Blush in the shade Love Me. And just gonna tap this on the cheeks for a pretty little flush. For highlight, I'm gonna use Ofra Rodeo Drive, my absolute favorite, so pretty. And I'm gonna pop that on my cheekbones just to give us a nice pretty glow, bring it down my nose and right above the cupid's bow. And then I'm also gonna use this to highlight the eye. So I'm gonna go in my inner corners with this and right beneath the brow bone just to emphasize these areas. Okay, now this last part where I work on the eyes is where I feel like everything starts to come together. So you're gonna grab a black eyeliner pen. I'm just using the ColourPop 
cream gel liner pen in the shade Call Me. Any black liner pen will do. So I'm going to take this and line my upper lash line. And I'm not going to actually go all the way in. I only go about halfway and I kind of like feather it in as I go, making it a little bit thicker on the outer part and then getting thinner as I get towards the center of the eye and then just kind of tapering it off like that. So I'm going to do that on both eyes. Then I'm going to go in with a tiny little liner brush like this, just a clean liner brush. And I'm going to go on the outer part of my eye where I did that liner and just flick the liner upwards to create this really soft kind of pseudo wing looking thing on the end of my eye. I actually got this tip from Makeup by Mario. You guys will see, do you see how it makes this like pretty little easy wing? I filmed a video which you guys will see um, a couple videos from now where I followed his master classes. And this was one of the tips that he showed and it has like changed my makeup routine. I love doing it now. It's so easy. Like you don't have to actually go in and create a wing with product. You can just do your liner and then flick it out with no additional product with a little liner brush like this. And it's just so easy and gives this really softened kind of look for every day. And I love it. So I also will go in towards the center and just soften out the part where it fades to no liner again. And voila. It's done. For my waterline, I'm gonna jump in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and Exit. This is just a white shade. So any white liner will work. If you don't want something as stark, you can use like a champagne colored. So I just put that in the waterline for an extra little pop. And it just makes your eyes appear like brighter and more awake, you know, because when we'd be staying up late at night, but we gotta look put together the next day. It's a great option. <laughs> For mascara, I recently tried this and I have been obsessed since I tried it. Um, this is the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. So I have a lot of drugstore mascaras that I love too, which I can link down below. Cause this is NARS, so it is a little bit more expensive, but I've been using this like for the past couple days and been so impressed with how it makes my natural lashes look. It's insane. So I just wiggle it on my top lashes. It does, why I like this a lot too for every day is it packs on so much volume really fast. So it's not gonna take a long time to like continually coat on the mascara like literally one coat of this and you're pretty good because it looks beautiful and is super voluminous and then I'm just wiggling it on my lower lashes as well okay now you can totally leave the eyes like this which I do a lot of the days but I want to show you guys kind of the little amped up version that I do some days that looks really really nice so I take these lashes so these are the style bold is beautiful they're from bold face lashes I love their lashes they're beautiful these are about eight or nine dollars but how I use them I get four pairs of lashes out of them because what I do is I'll take the lash and I cut it right in half. So you have these two little mini lashes and I put these on the outer parts of my eye. So this adds a little drama without being like overboard craziness. So I'm just going in with their lash glue. This is the Bold Face Super Sticky Lash Glue in the shade black. So it's like a colored glue, which is nice. Just going to wait for it to dry for a second. And I pop it onto the outer corner of my eye. And do you guys see how it just adds that little emphasis like to the outer part of my eye? It's kind of like a cat eyed illusion, but I've really been liking it. It's just like a little something and it's super simple because it's such a small little piece it's not like you need to really be like as precise as you would with like a full strip lash it's a lot simpler when it's smaller so it's quick and easy in a pinch and then just gonna pop on the other side as well see it just adds like a little flare I know it's not for everybody so feel free definitely to skip this step and just do mascara but I like to add this some days it like kind of just changes up my look a little bit which I like and then last but not least we have our lips so my favorite combo recently has been the Kylie Kylie lip liner like the shade is Kylie <laughs> from Kylie cosmetics so I line my lips with this. It's a really pretty pinky nude and it goes with like literally like any nude lipstick. So I use it all the time with a bunch of different lip colors. So I pop that on. For lipstick, I love Revlon Untold Stories. It's a matte, it lasts really, really well. And it's a really pretty like easy everyday color. So a lot of days I will just stick with the matte. I don't really add a gloss. And especially I know if I'm gonna be going out and wearing a mask, the gloss gets a little messy, you know? But if I wanna wear a gloss, uh, my favorite is the Tarte H2O gloss in in the shade Sandy Toes. So I'll just pop that on top. So pretty and one of my favorite glosses of all time for when I want a little juicy lip. And then last but not least, of course, we gotta set everything in place. So I go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the best. Just set my makeup like so and voila. We are done. Honestly, it's so easy. I do this look all the time and it just makes me look very put together. But hopefully you guys like this more laid back, easy tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video.